go. You know the hood voting Trump is too big to read. Tell the DC swamp is too big to read. Someone tell the fake news is too big to read. You know that Trump 24, that's the victory. A hundred thousand people plus at the rallies. Stars and stripes, mega hats, yeah, we style. Lock them up, Joe Biden was on that island. This a message to you rhinos, it's too big to read. Wildwood was sold out, Hialeah sold out. Blacks for Trump, you know we always gon' show out. It's a Patriot party, you know that red carpet's rolled out. Mark Zuckerberg probably gon' take this post down. Unvaccinated for three years and I'm still breathing. Unvaccinated blood is worth some money, believe me. 60 billion to Ukraine and Biden still got shit stains. Now you pro hypocrite cause you done lost your black face. I'ma flex this Trump card, been a boss like Rick Ross. I'ma flex this Trump card, Obama boy, you been a fraud. Someone tell Big Mike that there's only two genders. You know that Target put a target on your children for riches. You know there's only two races, Republican and Democrat. Like a Kool-Aid man trying to bring that flavor back. Put Trump back in the White House. Put Trump back. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 32. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. Call Holayim La, Abba Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rekat, Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners, and Shalom to the Akwaf, sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Exodus 23, verse 32. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. And to, you know, to be voicing a, a, a vain, worthless, <laughs> dedicated alliance with these devils are talking about you're going to vote for this side and that side, the right wing, the left wing, the republic, uh, the democrat. They all they all are attached for the same agenda on the same bird, man. Okay? And these people don't have your best interests at hand. All right? They they spew out lies, they spew out uh false promises, man. You know, and also too to give you Negroes the delusion, you you Babylonians especially, or everybody on on the soil, but mainly you nigga, you niggas, give you a strong delusion that they're gonna uh, restore uh, 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 some type of hope, okay, to the community of uh, the so-called Black, Hispanics, Native, and Sindal Indians, man, okay, and with you. Attempting to have a covenant to, to show your dedication, your agreeance with their uh, campaign is also you showing that you're willing and bending the knee to represent and worship their gods, man. Which are just completely made up, which completely don't, uh, you know, don't do nothing, man. Okay, because again, these people are not worried about you. They're worried about their own belly, their own stance, their own okay foundation, man. Okay, and also doing the the, uh, the 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 job for the elites, man. Because your vote does not matter, man. But, you know, you see you got niggas like this, you know, make America great again. When was America great? When was Babylon great? When you when you were in bondage. Okay? Because you have a lot of these uh, patriots, as this, as this stupid, simple nigga saying, you have a lot of these patriots saying that we got to get our slaves, okay, in control. It's like you're under control. We got to get our slaves under control. And guess what? You're one of them. Okay? But let's continue. Because these, these presidents, these Edomites, they don't give a damn about you Israelites, man. This is the book of Philippians chapter 2, starting off at verse 19. But I trust, <clears throat> but I trust in the Lord Yahawashai to send Timotheus shortly on to you. But who who is who is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai sitting right now for you to acknowledge for you to uh you know to repent and to uh make your alliance your covenant with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai sitting his prophets voicing okay the the truth man the gospel man but you reject the prophets and you cleave on to 
the Edomites, the presidents, the Congress, uh, the Congress, the Senate House. OK, you believe that you can receive redemption, salvation. OK, some type of uh, security, some type of uh, a resolution from your captivity, man. When the Lord is sending his prophets to tell you what the solution is, to tell you what's going to be done and how to, you know, be preserved, be protected, be guided, be directed correctly according to his words, man. But no, you got simple ass niggas like this that's just trumped out. And especially, you know, since uh, it's like it, Trump got a, fel a, a, fel a 34 felonies now, if I'm not mistaken, or, or however many felonies he got, now they consider Trump a real nigga. They consider him a real nigga, but Salakia, Philippians chapter 2, verse 19. But I trust in the Lord Yahawashai to send Timotheus shortly on to you. But in this time, he's, he's sending the prophets, you know, the elder apostles, elder bishops, elders on down of GMS and all the other affiliate camps that preach and teach the same doctrine, which is the 144% truth. Shortly on to you, that I also may be, Salakia, so that, that I also may be of good comfort when I know your estate. So, and that's that's our agenda, man. Because we're trying to give you the comfort for your estate, for your mental, you know, for uh, your spirituality, man. Okay, for the questions that you had, that, you, that you're seeking to be answered, man. We're trying to give you that uh, comfort, that comfort through these scriptures, through these words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Verse 20. For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your estate. So, the people that y'all seeking that that, that y'all want them to have care for your for your state and then want that y'all again that y'all want some type of resolution some type of uh answers from is this continuously oppressing you continuously making you bow the knee man okay you keep on running to your captors for uh salvation man okay your captors are not going to be your goddamn rescuers they're going to continue to do what they've been doing and it's only going to get worse. It's only going to be magnified. It's only going to increase intensely in this captivity, man. Okay? For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state. For all seek their own. So this is a prime example of a, of a nigga in the world seeking his own. And who was his own? His master. Okay? He's, he's seeking love, validation, comfort, acceptance, equality. These are all the things that you seek from these presidents that just lie to you, motherfuckers, man. Lie, lie, lie. And as soon as they get in office, and you know, matter of fact, Salaki, I ain't, I ain't trying to be long with it, but this, it's, it makes sense. When Jim Crow Joe, I ain't playing with you niggas Biden got in office, he told you motherfuckers on a Zoom conference talking to you so-called black leaders, he told you I ain't doing shit for y'all. And all you dumb motherfuckers look stupid. Okay? For all seek their own, not the things which are Yahweh Shah Hamashiach's. And Yahweh Shah Hamashiach's things are, are the same things of Yahweh's, man. And that's what we tell you. That's how we comfort you. That's how we tell you, you know, how your state should be. Okay? Even though, you know, we, we're living in hell, this is a nightmare, but our state, as the hopeful elect, is better than the two thirds, man. It's better than you reprobates. It's better than you, you Negroes. Uh, 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 that, that claim you in the truth and that's not really doing what the Lord told you to do. That's spewing madness, man. You know, uh, uh, teaching false doctrine, etc., man. You know, our state is better than y'all's, man. You know, I wouldn't... Come on, man. When will you niggas learn, man? I'm not surprised, though, man. Because, again, you're seeking love. Let's grab that real quick. This is Jeremiah chapter 2. Seeking love, validation, equality, acceptance, all these things, man. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Did y'all forget about what, what our people went through? Okay, slavery did not get discontinued. It just got transferred from private ownership to basically the government. Okay, and with that transition, our people went through even harder tribulations man our people went through harder judgments our people literally you know still until this day they haven't they have laws in the books that have not been okay uh, uh tossed out or overthrown or basically destroyed man all right they still have in the book that you negroes are three-fourths or three-fifths of a human being man they have in books you know why do you think a lot of these uh, uh edomites got off by killing you niggas man 
The only people that can be citizens here in America, aka Babylon, are Edomites. It's in the books. I did a lesson on this, man. And see, and that's how you know that GMS and the other like-minded affiliate camps that we do lessons. We do so many daggone lessons that we can can re rethink and recite the things that we brought forth. Man, I literally did. I don't know which. I don't really know which channel was on, but I did a lesson showing the fact because the Israelite woman uh, uh, showed the evidence of it, and I did a lesson on it that basically stating. If somebody wants to look it up and put the link in uh, in the, in the um the comment section, you know, Baba Gusha, please do, man. Okay, because that that'll be good for another you know another go around, another uh retake. Okay, Jeremiah chapter two verse thirty three. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore has thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways, and that's right, man. You know you have them coming to y'all little bullshit get-togethers, celebrating their wicked ass holidays. You know, teaching them your, your, your uh, customs that you learn in Babylon, all types of stuff, man. Okay? But again, you know, because you're seeking what? Validation, comfort, equality, acceptance, man. So you're, you're trimming your ways. And, you know, you have our ancestors that went through all types of hell to see our people, to see this, the state. Okay? The mental, okay, state of our people, man. Our people just literally in, in the heavens, man, pissed, man. You got a goddamn, let's make make America great again. When was Again, when was America great? When your ass was in bondage. When there was free labor. When you was treated like a boy. Property. Which is still our property. Okay, but we long, we belong to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Let's continue, man. Because we ain't supposed to be voting for no goddamn heathen, man. We ain't supposed to be voting, period, man. Deuteronomy 17, verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Okay, listen. Deuteronomy 17, verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom Yahweh thy power shall choose. One from among thy brethren. Okay, one from among thy brethren shall thou set king over thee. So it's supposed to be of our tribe, of our nation, that's supposed to be ruling over our nation not no goddamn heathen man because the heathen's not going to have okay um your favor it's not going to be worried about your state not going to be worried about uh uh, uh anything concerning our nation man they're only going to be worried about th themselves and their nation all right continuing on one from among thy brethren shall thou set king over thee thou mayest not set a stranger over thee which is not thy brother brother so you're not supposed to be literally making no goddamn rap songs talking about you voting for this cat you voting for this devil no you ain't supposed to be partaking in any of this nonsense man and and, and again it does not matter whoever the elites the one percent is the people that run the whole world the people that run babylon aka america whoever they want in office that's who's going to be in office period man it's just, it's just a goddamn show. That's all it is. It's, it's a fucking show, man. It's a show to see you damn, you, you damn coons and sambos to, 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 to entertain these goddamn people, man. Sitting at, sitting in their goddamn castles, you know, shit, laughing at you niggas, man. Put Trump back in the White House. For what? For what? It doesn't matter which devil's in the White House. They, they still don't have your best interests at hand, man. Okay. There's been a lot of promises that have been broken. Okay, so that's plain and simple, man. You're not supposed to be setting or, or voting or even making a covenant with other nations to have them ruling over you, man. Okay, even though we're in the same, well, what about you, brother? You used you, you to live in America, they're ruling over you. They're, they're obviously, yes, but uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh rules over us, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh protects and guides us, man. Okay, uh, 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 Proverbs 16, verse uh, 7, I believe. Okay, when a man's uh, uh, ways please the Lord, even his enemies shall be at peace with him. Okay, and also in the book of Jeremiah, uh, I want to say maybe chapter fifteen, where it says, "In the day of the evil, in, in the day of evil, even the enemy shall entreat thee with good." Roughly paraphrasing. Okay. So let's let's continue, man. Let's spread the next precept because I don't want to be too too long winded. And I think that's Jeremiah 15. Uh, 
Matter of fact, I'll read it. Jeremiah 15, verse 11. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil, in the time of affliction. So Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh is in charge of us. We're under Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh because the Lord controls everything and everybody. He created all. All right, and that's who we vote for. We vote for Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, my nigga. So let's jump here. It's Ephesians chapter 5, and I'm going to read verses 9 to 11. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. And these Edomites are captors, are oppressors. They don't have the fruit of the Spirit. They don't, they don't do goodness. They, they don't perform and produce and advertise righteousness. And they don't speak the truth. Again, Ephesians chapter 5, starting off at verse 9. For the fruit of the Spirit and their fruit of the Spirit shows forth what? Wickedness, vexation, oppression. They take away peace from the earth. They uh, 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 produce death. They produce uh, a poison. The food is poison. The air is poison. The educational system is poison. The environment, the way it's structured, the way it's ran is poison. Nothing about this rulership besides these words being spoken by the prophets. That's the only thing righteous. Okay? Because all righteousness is, is, is as filthy rags, man. As a menstrual rag, man. Okay? And we hope to be accepted and, and to be uh, saved by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in the very near future, man. Okay, for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. And that's what we came back to. We came back to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, and that's what we produce, that's what we advertise, and that's what we seek. And that's what the Lord gives us. Verse 9. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. And we prove what's acceptable, man, because we're not making no goddamn covenants with the heathen. We're not talking about we're gonna vote for no goddamn Trump or Biden. We're not out here talking about no mega hats and all this nonsense. No, we're condemning this place. We're prophesying against it. We're sending up curses, man. Okay, we're telling you about the judgments that's going to be brought forth, man. We despise everything about the rulership of this whole world. Verse 11. And have no fellowship. And have no fellowship. But what did this nigga have? He, had, he, had, he has a, he's, making, he's making it known of his alliance. His dedication to the enemy. Making a goddamn rap song, spewing madness, man. The only the only thing that he said in this uh, video that I can agree with is right here. It's right here. Look, this I'm not gonna say. It. Look at the screen. That's the only thing I agree with right there. You know, un 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 jump shot and still breathing, of course. <laughs> And have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And what do the Edomites, the so-called self-proclaimed white people, produce? Unfruitful works of darkness. Okay, corruption. Okay, that leads you to death. That's that's just pure evil. No righteousness, man. But you're supposed to, you're supposed to reprove them and not be amongst them. Avoid them. To go against them and to, and to show your alliance, your dedication to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, but it's a difference, man. But again, you know, at the end of the day, this this is gonna be the outcome for you for you stupid ass niggas, spicks and savages, man. This is gonna be the outcome for you fucking dummies, man. Cause I got two stupid, I got man, I got three stupid ass Israelites at my goddamn job and always talking about some goddamn uh, 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 Trump and uh, uh, Biden, man. I'm tired of hearing this shit, man. Even my even my, my boss talking about what well, if anything go down I'm I'm just, I'm just going to vote for Biden I'm just shaking my head like man you gotta you niggas are just stupid man I'm tired I'm just tired of it man I'm just sick of everything man so sick of this goddamn place man Jeremiah chapter thirty starting off at verse thirteen there is none to plead thy cause okay so you think you literally think that Donald Trump Joe Biden or whatever else devil that that'll come abroad and and uh, run for run for a president, you think they're gonna they're gonna uh, 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 plead your cause? You think they're gonna go to the UN and plead your cause? You think they're gonna go to the White House and plead your cause, or the Congress, or the Senate House, and all that? No, they don't give a fuck about you niggas, you uh, Hispanics, and you Native and Seminole Indians. They don't give a fuck about you, man. It's all a show. 
There is none that plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. But what is what is the healing medicine? These words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah coming back to our power, man. Coming back to the Heavenly Father and His Son. That's the healing medicine right now, man. That's how you get purified. That's how you get sanctified. That's how you get cleansed. That's how you get freed mentally in your mind and spiritually, man. Okay? The, the, the adversary, the enemy is not going to do it. Verse 14. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. So as soon as they get in office, what happens? They forget you, niggas. And like I just said prior earlier. Jim Crow Joe, I ain't playing with you niggas. Biden told you niggas on live TV on a Zoom meet that he ain't doing nothing for you niggas. You think that's going to change with Trump or anybody else? No. What did Bill What did Bill Clinton do when he was in office? He signed bills to get you niggas locked up in the nineties, man. What did Jim Crow Joe when he when he get do when he got in office? He signed all these these freedoms, these uh, laws. For, for, for Decepticons, for Transformers, okay? For the alphabet community, man. These devils don't give a damn about you simple, stupid niggas, man. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. So, again, at the end of the day, they don't need your vote. Again, it's, it's all just a show for entertainment to the elites and to everybody else, man. They just sit back laughing at you niggas, man. Oh, this nigga really think this is such and such is going to win? Oh, these, these niggas really think that they vote count. They really think they're making a difference. <laughs> I'm going to show them something. Okay? For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. And that's the Lord, you know, got y'all, uh, your minds afflicted, man, to really believe that there's hope here in, in this captivity, in this society, man. That you really believe a, chain gon a change is going to come. Okay? Who sang that song? Uh, Sam, um, Sam Cook. Y'all believe a change is going to come. Okay, the, the, the type of change that we know is going to come is going to be from the Lord, but y'all believe that the Edomites, the so-called self-proclaimed white people, is going to make that change. Y'all don't believe that our power, our Heavenly Father and His Son is going to make that change. Okay? With the chastisement of a cruel one. Who, who's the cruel one? Who's that cruel nation? Okay, the ones that y'all seek validation from, equality, acceptance, love. Okay? You, you, you seek your, your, your goddamn captors to rescue you. Okay, to, to make the pain go away. You, you niggas, man. For the multitude of thy iniquities, because thy sins were increased. Okay, and the Lord's going to keep on, you know, making it worse and worse for you niggas, man. And we're going to just sit back and watch it keep on going, man. And, you know, I want to this out. The Lord keep us in this fold. Keep us, you know, seeking righteousness. Keep, keep us doing what we're supposed to do, man. So we don't have to have the same judgment as you niggas, man. Make America great again. What a fucking joke. I don't want to write this out. I hope and I pray that this is edifying and informative and terrifying to the truth and see Aki and Wa'akwaf. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. Look at the mental state of our people. They are destroyed. They are going astray. And Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash is going to destroy these niggas, spicks, and savages, man. Don't take this for granted. Be thankful. You might end up like this nigga talking about let's make America great again. Stupid motherfuckers, man. I don't want to rot to za until the next one. So with that, I'm just gonna say, Koho Layam La Albanawa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Raka Kwadash Watha Wada Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Raka Kwadash for putting the spirit on me my elder apostles elder bishops elders brothers on down for doing these epistles to enlighten you to inform you to edify you and uplift you through the power and spirit and words of yahweh bahashem yahweh shai may the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household adawan rataza into the next one so with that i'm just gonna say shalom